So first Samuel chapter 16 from verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. Who is he talking about? Eliab, the first guy. Look not on his countenance. Because men look at her on the countenance. He says, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. Now, do you realize that the Bible didn't say that I have not chosen him? He says, I have refused him. That means God considered him before. How many people has God refused? Then he says, for the Lord seeth. Now, this is a scripture I started with when I started. And, and I want that to be in your mind as we are looking at this. He said, for the Lord seeth, not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but God looketh on the hearts. The third thing that has great value in the sight of God, or that is recognized in the sight of God, is your heart. Now, when I talk about the heart, not so fast, why? Because you see, you will, hear, you will see people saying, oh, me, I don't go to church, but I have a good heart. Who told you? Who told you you have a good heart? The audacity and the pride. The Bible says the heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Then he asks another question. He says, who shall know it? That means nobody has the technology to see his heart. You don't know your heart. And I said, until you are faced with a situation that will let you know how wicked and terrible you are, you don't know your heart. I always say this. As a pastor, I can pray for you. But the one who answers the prayer, he sees your heart. I don't. During one of the financial wisdom from the Bible series, I told you, I said, there are many, many people. Let me tell you, the only reason why they are in church and they are praying is because they've not yet mastered the courage to go to the native doctor. They've not yet mastered the courage to go to the fetish priest to make it. The day they master the courage, they don't need God. Because you see, one thing about God, whatever you are praying for, he is not just seeing what you are asking him. He is seeing the readiness of your heart for the thing so when God is not responding instead of us to be forcing God to release a thing we should be checking what is God seeing Peter swore to Jesus Jesus I will defend you I swear he, he, he has not yet seen slaps by the time he saw the slaps Jesus was collecting in the game he swore to Jesus that I will defend you and he even started it the men came yeah, said today is today I will do it today and little girl asked him are you one of them me I swear I'm from Italy <laughs> always when it comes to your heart be humble because you don't know yourself there was a prior conversation that had me had Jesus said Peter the devil has desired you to sift you as wheat he said but you know what I had to help you I had to pray for you by what you know about yourself you will defend Jesus but inside your heart is the tendency to betray is the tendency to deny you just don't know it yet